Hello everyone, this is Lisa Hollyfield uh, doing my World History 375 Discussion Board 1 concerning um, the importance of the Korean Peninsula and Korea itself as an ally to the United States. Um, I think it's very important that we support Korea. Um, mostly because of its geographic location in reference to its closeness to China and Russia on the northern borders and Japan to the south. Um, Russia might be an enemy, but they're also somebody and we don't always have the greatest of interactions with them, but they're somebody that we need to keep our eyes on so having that buffer there of South Korea as an, as an ally helps us keep track of the foreign entities in that location. Um, this also applies to China. I wouldn't say that China is the same type of enemy on par with Russia. I mean, we have our issues with them as far as nuclear warfare and things of that nature. But um, we're on a much more even footing with China than Korea at this point. So they would more than likely, if North Korea were to do something adverse, worse than the missile launches that they've done, if they were to actually attempt to attack, I think we would have a much greater chance of having, of having China on our side rather than as an enemy. And, uh, of course, Japan, who has been our ally for 60 plus years. Um, it is unwise to make enemies of these countries because if something should happen with North Korea, South Korea is not a, a strong, I mean, they have a very good economy and very good tech technology, but for their size, they are not a strong enough country militarily to handle what North Korea can put out on their own. They need to know that we, I guess you could say, have their back. That China, Japan, the U.S. were all there to provide that buffer, to provide that sense of safety and security. Because even though North Korea is small, they have a very quickly burgeoning um, nuclear arsenal and they also have um, a closeness geographically and ideologically with Russia at this point to where and because of our the United States own issues with Russia it gives North Korea uh, a reason to ally themselves even further with Russia against us so to and because South Korea is so close to them you know, if anybody is going to be hit first, if they decide, if North Korea decides that they want to attack, it's going to be South Korea, it's going to be Japan, those places. Even if it was us, at least we have those allies and we can band together and, and make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Um, they are also a very important economic trade partner. Um, I'm not going to comment on trade issues going on in the world today right now politically but I mean overall it is much more wise for us to continue to keep up a positive trade alliance positive um, political strength with them because to not do so wouldn't just be negative for them it would be negative for the other countries that surround them that depend on the United States stationed nearby, not necessarily in Japan, but in, not necessarily in Korea, but in Japan, you know, depend on the U.S. military presence for safety, security, and for peace of mind. Um, South Korean technology right now is in a place that is, and their economies actually I venture to say almost light years ahead of where we, we where we are at, and to be able to have them as a trading partner 
is a definite plus. Um, we can get things from them that we cannot make for ourselves here, or at least not in the abundance that we, we, we require. So having them as that positive ally gives us the things that we need, gives them the things that they need, and provides both sides that sense of security and support. Um, Second Corinthian says, working together with him, then we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, in the favorable time I listened to you, and in the day of salvation I've helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We put no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry, but as servants of God we commend ourselves in every way by great endurance. In afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights. For me, it's pretty simple. Making alliances with, with, with other countries is not about being friends. It's about doing what you have to do. I mean, it's always good if you're tight, but it's more about what is economically, politically, militarily beneficial to both sides. That's what an alliance is. If you happen to be ideologically similar, like the United States with most countries in Europe all the better. But even if you're not, like we are in no way ideologically similar to China. We're not tight with China. But we have certain reasons for keeping ourselves allied with them in a sort of like you don't come after us, we won't come after you way. <laughs> so that um, if they get in a tight spot, we can assist. If we get in a tight spot, they can assist, and we won't blow each other up. It's like to avoid mutually assured destruction, basically. North Korea doesn't see it that way because they just wanted to destroy everything. I think most of the countries that have come a long way in the world have realized that even if you don't agree with another country's way of seeing things, if you don't agree with their politics, their ideologies, their religion, whatever it, might, whatever it might be, it's still to your benefit in the long run to maintain economic and political alliances so, you, so that we can take care of each other. Um, it only goes to show that when, uh, when alliances are weak and we're not looking after each other then we're not there to back each other up. In a time of crisis, things go downhill. That's the kind of thing that happened between World War One and World War, World War Two, which is why the League of Nations almost fell apart. <laughs> now I don't know if the situation in North Korea is going to get any better. They, each day they continue to do something different to, I guess you could say, throw egg in our face. But, um, all I can say is that no matter what happens, whether we're in favorable times or whether we're in bad times, maintaining those alliances, giving support to those countries and getting that support back, no matter what might be going on, what hardship, what no matter what we're going through, just as, just as the, um, the apostles did after Jesus died and they had to spread his message, it was hard for them. They were in danger of losing their lives because at the time Christianity was not a well thought of religion. They were being persecuted and yet their alliance was solid because their loyalty was solid and that's what ours needs to be thank you and i wish you guys the best of luck for the rest of the term